hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to access sandbox in salesforce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Accessing a Salesforce sandbox is a straightforward process, which is crucial for various reasons, particularly when it comes to development, testing, and training. Now, depending on how you set up your Salesforce account, I want you to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the uh, setup icon. And from here, all you have to do is hover to the search setup, type in sandbox. And there you go. This is going to be where you can find and access the sandbox. If you haven't already, you might want to make sure that you click on the new sandbox because sandboxes are special organizations that are used to test charges or new apps without risking damage to your production data or configuration. Sandbox templates are used to create new sandboxes contacting or containing specific data sets. I want you to click on the new sandbox now from here you might want to put in the uh, sandbox information for example name I'm gonna put in let's say deep laughs and i wanted to put in something like um a description that's going to be how to access sandbox and salesforce you can create from production of course and you have all of these options you can have the uh, sandbox license one day capacity is uh, 200 MB. It includes all of the configuration, Apex data, all users, and all of these. If you wanted to scale up, you might want to go for the uh, Developer Pro, which is going to be having all of these perks and benefits. All right. I want you to click on the next. And from here, all I have to do is put in the Apex class. Enter the name of the Apex class to be run after Sandbox activation leave it blank if you don't want to run a post copy apex class all right you have two more options you can click on the all active users you can put in the user group or create a user group in the public groups page in setup to use this feature once you're happy with that all you have to do is click on create sandbox and that's how you access the sandbox feature here in salesforce doing this is going to be supporting various activities which is crucial for maintaining a stable, effective, and secure Salesforce instance. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.